Hey, what's going on YouTube? Aura here. Today I'm going to be talking about the Meg Jugger Nugget series that was known as Eve, or My Virtual Escape. I just want to talk about some things that kind of blows my mind about this series and why that series was just so good in general and sort of the idea of it and how sort of that kind of reflects on me. So in case you guys don't know, but Jugger Nuggets is a YouTuber who creates a lot of series, series type content here on YouTube shows, movies, things of that nature, which is something I wanted to do for a very, very long time myself here in the YouTube sort of scenario. You know, when I started YouTube, I wanted to do skits and things like that, and it's pretty much what he does. It all pretty much kicked off with the Psycho Sid, the, the Psycho Kid series. That just kind of blew him up because everyone was like, oh my god, you know, I remember way back in the day, you know, I was talking about this with my friends, being like, oh my god, you know, this father is a psychopath and whatever. And then you're at the end, you turn that into a series, which it was always a series, but he sort of turned it into, like, an actual story near the end, when everyone started kind of catching on to this, and he created the next series known as My Virtual Escape, which is a sort of virtual reality within a virtual reality sort of game testing series where his father basically and his friend makes this game called everyone's virtual escape by the way known as eve and you basically go into this world where you basically try the virtual helmet within the game and i don't know if this was supposed to be programmed that way so that way they test basically is a beta test right so maybe they test the game within the game which would have a lot of layers of coding, of course, but if that was the way that they did it, that'd be pretty cool. My camera's all blurry now. I don't know why. I don't know what I did. Are we back? Okay, there, there we go. go. And this whole series was about loss of family, friends, and things like that, and sort of getting over that or sort of coping with it. And I like the way he really did that because you put on the virtual helmet, and then when you do that, you go into this world that feels like real life, and then you receive another helmet within the game that you then put on, and you're in this virtual reality of the virtual reality to where you know if you die or whatever and basically the whole point of the game was to get be the last man standing then you get this wish and i always figured this wish was something to do within the virtual reality because you can't just make anything happen in real life of course so you, they get the wish after they take off the helmet within the game it's a big confuse it's really confusing but the reason why i'm making this video it's sort of like talk about how you know how that helped me sort of stuff and you know because I'm someone who's lost multiple people in my life, like many, many people. And, you know, that series kind of made me reflect on that. And damn, dude, some moments in that made me bawl my eyes out. It was it was great, honestly, though. But, you know, I like the series because if you ever lost anyone or someone who maybe hasn't lost anyone yet, you know, it's good to sort of see, like, the start of when that happens to sort of the progression of that and how people sort of deal with it, you know, getting into drugs or suicide and things like that, and then how, you know, people helping you can actually help you and things like that and sort of waking up from that sort of nightmare you've been living in sort of thing, and I really like the way he did that. You know, things like The Lion King, if you've ever seen those movies, those are kind of something like that as well to where I thought that was a spider, it was nothing, <laughs> to where they sort of teach us about life, you know, about loss, you know, nothing really stays here forever, and Lion King was really good about teaching us about life as children, at least in my generation, of course, since I'm 18 now or whatever, but the Lion King was really good at that because, you know, you see this happy kid or whatever, he's real cool, his father dies, he becomes the king, and then he dies, and then there's another guy, and this is the circle of life was the whole point of that. Um, the whole Lion King series, as sad as it is, it really helped, you know, sort of most of my generation actually grow up and sort of cope with things like that. Maybe that's why a lot of things don't affect me as much. I'm not sure. I'm really bad at looking at cameras, too. But another um, sort of show, series, movie, whatever, that sort of really throws everyone for a spin is an anime called Fairy Tale. I don't know if you guys ever heard of it. Really good anime. Um, but I don't, I don't watch a lot of anime. But the only reason why I watched that is because it starts off really, like, child-friendly. You know, it's all cute, it's all happy, and everyone's just all all over the place real happy, and, you know, nothing really affects anybody. And then as the series progresses, everything just gets darker and darker and darker and darker. 
you start off with this happy fun time sort of a show for anyone to watch you know you get some laughs you do whatever and then nearing the end of it there's a lot of death there's a lot of changes there's a lot of like rock and roll kind of music and just badass nightmares and shit and it's just something like that to where you don't expect it but they progress the, the story which i really liked with you know most of the juggernaut series and stuff like that is they start off like something that you wouldn't expect and then they change into something just amazing and the only reason like with the juggernaut series is something like i wanted to do when i wanted to make youtube videos um with story-based stuff was kind of reflect on real life issues I sort of turn that into a story because you know when I move I want to make a story about depression and anxiety and sort of show everyone what that's like from start to finish and of course the series is also going to be like what I want to do with a lot of my stories here on YouTube is there's going to be progression that you guys get to choose what happens and unlike Majuganaga stuff there's going to be you know the entire series is going to be on YouTube you get to choose which path you want and which it was with Majuganaga it's uh, EVE Eve is you guys got to vote to which part you want to happen next but the way I'm gonna be doing my series whenever that happens whenever I move is you just get to click on a little like playlist button and bring you to the next one you get to choose from there and whatever and the reason why I want to I want to make my series like that is because that series is gonna be based around depression anxiety stress all these things that we cope with during most of our life and you guys basically get to choose what you would do not the character but yourself and what you would do you know the series is going to have a really dark turn to maybe where you end your whole life in the series and then the series ends for you there but i just want this to kind of reflect and then sort of evaluate on what people chose the most and what people would do if they were in that situation and stuff like that and it's just i don't know i want it to be sort of like a revenue a revolution a revolutionary sort of type of series or whatever but i hope it does really good but I just wanted to say, like, Mega Jugger Nuggets, Jesse Ridgway, you did a phenomenal job <laughs> on Eve. Like, it it really helped me because the past couple, the past couple years of my life, but mo most um, normally this year, um, it's kind of like I've been in Eve, you know, because the start of the series was also around when I was getting over my depression, anxiety, and all this stuff to where I was just super dark and whatever. Then as the series progressed, I also progressed along with it in my life as well. It's just kind of weird to see how Isaac versus Jack kind of progressed in like kind of like the same same area. And just kind of cool to kind of you know like understand you know where these characters are coming from and kind of reflecting on my own life and whatever. I don't know. I enjoy it. I, I hope he sees this just because it's kind of cool. Um, I was gonna go into more detail about this yesterday, but I ended up falling asleep. So I wasn't able to get as much details as I wanted to say. But I hope his next series and stuff really take off. And I hope my series, whenever I decide to make that, also takes off as well. Because I just want it to be something amazing. That helps a lot of people sort of see what it's like and all that kind of stuff. But he did good. If you guys haven't seen it, please go watch that series. It's it's amazing. It helps, it helps pretty much anyone, you know. I had one of my friends watch it when he was over at my house. And he doesn't like watching Majuganaga's videos after he found out it was fake. But I got him watching this for a couple episodes. And he was laughing. He was having a good time watching it. So it just goes to show, like, even if you don't want to watch it, it's worth watching. Because what Jesse likes to do is he likes to have a story. But within the story, he has actual life lessons that reflect on all of us. And sort of goals and things that he likes to talk to us about within the series, you know things like this uh, this series was about you know reflecting on lost ones and how to you know how people feel when they lose somebody versus you know how other people feel about it and you know some actions you can take and some actions you should not take and then sort of where you can go if you just keep fighting about it and stuff like that i don't know it's a real cool series i'm gonna have a fun time making this thumbnail though hopefully if it actually turns out good but i hope that he can make another series that's super amazing um, he put a lot of effort into this, which I love, and I hope my series is almost as good, too, when I decide to do that. But with that being said, there's a series going on on my channel, whenever that decides to start soon, known as Dreamcatcher. I've been teasing it since the start of June or whatever, and what the series is about is about you guys. It's about helping people um, sort of get to their goals and dreams, at least one of them. 
because a lot of people growing up, in, at least in my life, people see what they want in life, and then once something happens, they decide not to go for it, and they just start taking this decline in their life towards a path that they never wanted to take. And this series is meant to sort of get them on the right path again and sort of make everyone happy and stuff like that. So that's what this series is, is going to be based around. And this, when I say series, it's not going to be like Jesse Ridgeway or like my depression series I want to do. It's an actual real life sort of, you know, I met this person. They said they wanted this and this and this. And I'm like, we set this up or whatever. We record it. We do all this kind of stuff and kind of reflect and stuff like that. So it should be something pretty cool. Um, obviously, I don't have a set time for episodes whenever that does happen because it's going to be real random. You know, I might not be able to talk with someone and I might not be able to do something for somebody, but I'll do my best. So if you guys want to be part of that series, make sure you guys comment down below, you know, things that you want in life, you know, your hopes and dreams and all this stuff. And of course, the Embers, Ashes, Phoenix, whatever series is going on in the Year of the Phoenix playlist, that's going to be continuing to season two as well. Hopefully soon. Whenever I decide to get an actual camera, hopefully next week. But this video is a lot longer than I expected, and I wasn't able to talk about everything that I wanted to because I forgot what I was going to talk about. But good job, Jesse. I've been following you for many, many years, and you used to follow me, but you don't now, but I don't care. But I hope whenever I do my series, I hope you actually do watch it. If you don't, that's fine. You're busy. I'll be busy whenever I move, but you're doing great. Make sure you guys like this video, you comment down below, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um,. In the next little while, most of summer actually is going to be all over the place for me, so some videos might not make any sense at all, some videos might be gaming, some might not, but whenever I move and I finally settle down uh, um, somewhere, I'll let you guys know what the plan is. But for now, we're going to be all over the place.